Good evening, YouTube. Bud Haggerty here with I Can Fix That. Today's project is a Honda lawnmower. Well, I call her Old Faithful, and let me tell you something about a Honda real quick. Always pay the money for small engines as far as lawnmowers versus Briggs and Stratton and the other brands out there, which are good, but nobody beats the Honda, in my opinion. Honda is such a reliable, and especially for guys like me that kind of abuse their, uh, I'm hard on consumer goods, but uh, this Honda has been faithful. But recently uh, I noticed the self-propelled doesn't work, and uh, of course the engine still does. But I'm out there, you know, getting a workout, which again, is not a bad thing, because I have no more self-propelled, I have to push it. But the time has come where I figured, you know, I'm so lazy, the pain of pushing my lawn or fixing it uh, finally got to the point where we're going to change the uh, self-driving belt in it. So stand by one. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is shut the fuel line off. The fuel line, when you turn it up that way, when it's perpendicular to the gauge, just so you know, and mostly all fuel things that are related to anything, I mean, in the, in the world of uh, aircraft even, uh, you turn it this way perpendicular, it's off. That's open, right in line with the in and out, that's off. Just in case you need to know that. Two, I'm going to take the air filter off and take this out because we're going to lean it on its side. Um, over here, I also want to pop off the spark plug just to take that guy off because I don't want that firing for any reason. Um, the next thing, we're going to lean it on its side, but before I do that, I'm going to pull this till I feel the piston get on the, right about there. It's on the cylinder wall to prevent any oil or fluid from going back. That's what I was told to do a long time ago. I'll do that, I did that. And now we're gonna flip her on her side. and see what we got underneath here. And there she is. So I will be getting some wrenches to take this off. Stand by one. Okay, next step. I know what you're thinking. What is that hammer doing there? No, I didn't run it over. That's there to prevent the blades from spinning around when I try to crank these things off. I'm using a, a 14 millimeter. Evidently, we're in the millimeter family. So I'll take this off. Two, you're probably saying, why doesn't he have new blades? I will be getting new blades since it's so easy to take this thing off. So, because uh, my uh, friend that I let bar the blades, uh, I think he beat the... Well, he did. Anyway, so yeah, let's, let's, we're not worried about that right now. Let's get these guys off right here. And you might need to, I cracked them loose a little bit off camera. Let me get out of the way. Because the whole idea behind this is you to get a clear view of what's going on. Light wise. And uh, that's what I look. I like the video's got to have good video of what you're doing. So I got the camera on a tripod over there. Took that guy off. I'll put a little... WD-40 on that when I put it back. And this guy, again, I took a little hammer here to tap them loose if they're gonna fight you because they have been on there a long time. And again, like I said, I'm hard on consumer goods. These blades probably would have been swapped out about two seasons ago. But here we are. Let me take this guy off and take the blades off. There they are, okay. Okay, the two bolts we're gonna take off are right here and right here, and it's a 10 millimeter. So that should fit like a dream right there on there, and it does. Okay, I got it to where it's hand tight so I can just spin it off and pull that out and take this off right here. That comes out, just that's the cover. What that does, this way is uh, much cooler because we don't have to take this whole tub off, which is a lot of time consuming effort. All I gotta do is remove this and get this over here off the belt, like so. That gives me a bunch of slack here and that slack will be needed for me to pull it back off on the other side when I get out there. So let me show you. That's it for now on this side. Now we're going okay, we're in the back of the mower and we're gonna be working in this area right here. So see this bar, it's kind of in the way. And the way that I get that out of the way 
is you come over here where you adjust the wheel height and drop it all the way down, which I think is level like uh, five. So it's all the way down there. See how that exposes this whole area is nice and open for me now. This guy is when you push the lever, I'll show you the lever up here. When you push the drive control, which is right here, you push that down, that like that, you push that there, that is a cable that runs all the way down the shaft and it ends up right there, right there. So I want to take that guy off. And all I do is push this up a little bit and, and just work it out. I'm trying to keep my hands out of the way. So I push this all the way up and then you pop that off. That, that was there and now you see it down there. So then you can loosen this over here and we'll pull this out. So what I'm trying to get is this assembly to spin it all the way out so I can get at this pulley up here. But you can't, I can't do it because my particular belt where it broke is in the way. So I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut it right off here. Obviously we don't need it. So let me get it all the way out of there. I cut that guy off. And now we should be able to rotate this thing all the way around. Okay, I got it spun all the way around. I took a little tie wrap to hold that up. Um, this isn't a cable, this is part of my belt. And my belt is jammed right on that pulley. So, I gotta get her free. Um, to kind of free that up a little bit. In the world of the pulley. Up, oh, look at that. So, there. I can get that out. Now that's, there it is, she's free. And I will uh, clean that up a bit and then we're gonna take this nut off right here. Let me clean this up and then we're gonna remove that. Okay, we got it right where we want her. 14 millimeter and right here on this shaft, I'm pointing at it, is a flat spot so I can bring in my favorite tool Mr. Vice Grip and clamp him right here on that shaft. Let me get him to where I can clamp him down. And he's clamped down solid and I take my 14 millimeter and break that loose. Which I believe it's loose. Yep it's loose now so we take this back off and this guy will screw off a little bit. Take this guy out. And I'm loosening that whole area up. Okay, so I'm spun the nut off. I take the nut off. Take one side of this guy off. And there's indents here where that goes in that hole to kind of put them together so you, they don't spin. They, they lock each other in. But there's nothing on the back side of this, so there's no, no worry about getting something in that particular part. So with that being said, put that on the ground, take my new belt, I can get it right in here around that shaft, put this guy on, and those two line up just like that, and put the nut back on. Just like that. Now I'll tighten that back and we'll go to our next step. Okay, so I cut the tie clip and I fed the belt back all the way through there and made it come out where the shaft of the Honda engine is. But I didn't put this all the way back. I left it like this and I'll show you why. Because I'm going up to the upper part over here. Let me get out of the way. And we're going to swing it around here. Look at, take a look here. See the belt down there? If I did not leave that thing loose at the other end, I would never be able to work this belt around this. You'd have to take this off. And for me, for some reason, this is supposed to come off easy. Mine must be rusted on there because it's not coming off. And if that's your problem, who cares? We just went around it. I got the belt where it needs to be now. And I never even took that off. That's big. So now I go back over here. And I'm gonna put that clip on. This, I'm gonna push this back here and put this cable back on. And we're almost home free. 
you can see the belts on the pulley there and we go to the back part and the belts on back there way back there and I got that little clip back on this part right here so we are looking really good and again if you can get that off it, it it'd make it a little easier because you could put put that whole piece back there but you can do it without it so that's really not a lot of steps now I'm gonna have to put the uh, two bolts in put this back on and then uh, we can put the blades back on and I think we're almost done as you can see I put the uh, casing back on I didn't show you it's two bolts uh, if you can do this job obviously you can do that so I just got to put the blades back on I really should have new ones but just to wrap this video up I've got them ordered the blades I'll just put these back on and we'll flip it back over and check it out the blades are back on and uh, as my director said keep that shot tight because I don't want to show you the ends of these blades they're garbage but uh, I ordered new ones on Amazon they're gonna get here in less than 48 hours and I'm gonna take these two two bolts off and swap them out piece of cake so uh, let's flip this bad boy over and see if we got the ignition the jobs complete the lawnmowers back on her feet I put the spark plug back turn the fuel back on and you'll see this right here the smart drive system when I push this now I just tested it out front I don't want to start it in my garage but when I push this right there she takes off like and away we go well thanks for watching I hope you are uh, able to get some use out of this video and uh, I'll bang out another one eventually when something else breaks up my house it always does